Hi, I'm Amy Baker. Today I'm going to be hanging out with Mates Home Services and Ken is going to be our guide. So what are we doing today? We've lived here 35 years. We had the house built new and we've been trying to get a, a bathroom in down in our basement. I needed it because when he's watching TV up here, I have nowhere to go other than bedroom. Today we're installing a Sani Flush toilet system. It will enable any homeowner to put a toilet in any room of the house. No breaking of concrete, no digging in the basement. Oh, great. So it makes it more convenient now. How do the pipes run, though? They go along the floor? How yeah, well, there's a, there's a macerating pump okay. that actually the toilet up flushes into. And then actually that pump pumps it up to the gravity drain and takes it out of the house. And is this a long process? I mean, how long is... No, we should have a full bathroom up and running in an eight-hour day, eight or ten-hour day. And by the end of the day today, we'll have a functioning bathroom. Wonderful. Well, let's go in and check out the space. Okay, great. Let's see. On Behind this wall is where the toilet and the sink and everything will be. And actually what we're doing is um, the penetration for the toilet pipe and the water lines so far are coming through and we'll have a drain for the bathroom sink over here in the corner. Okay. Okay. This is all going to get tied together into the existing plumb. Okay, so the macerator pump is here and that will pump up the drain into this three inch sanitary drain line which comes from the upstairs bathroom. So this piece doesn't have to be behind the toilet like you would normally see in the bathroom? It, it, it can do both. If you don't have enough room behind a wall okay. to, to hide the pump, you can put it in the bathroom. Okay, but in this situation, that bathroom is going to look like any other bathroom. You're not even going to know there's a pump behind here, and the, the quietness of the pump will make it seem like there is no pump. That's, that's even better, too. So this will pump up uh, your sink water or your toilet water up into the drain. Okay. There'll be a vent that will go outside, out to the outside, and we're going to be cutting into the hot and cold copper pipes above, putting some valves in, and extending the pipes over to tie in the sink and the toilet. Are you going to start working on this or are we going to have Actually, no. The star of the show is Ed, and he's going to be taking us to finish on the project. Hi, yeah. Ed, star doing? of the show. Hi, nice <laughs> to meet you. So this is really interesting. Is this a new technology? Yes, it is. Uh, it goes from the old timers like me and Ken were uh, back in the day, the old adage was stuff rolls downhill and payday still on Friday. Okay. And uh, <laughs> now it allows us to put toilets behind walls and flush up instead of down. And without breaking all the without concrete without and everything. Breaking up all the concrete. So, so the, the new rules these days would be what? Payday still on Friday. Yep. Okay. But you can flush uphill. Wonderful. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm going to get out of your way so you can get at it. Uh, we'll check in with you a little later. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. This is pretty much what the finished product will look like. This is so neat, and I can't believe because it's just clean. If, if you look at it, it's clean. The only pipe is coming out from the back of the toilet and going on to the other side where Ed's doing his work. Yeah, absolutely. The only, there's a little finishing touches left, some uh, bottom molding, mm -hmm. um, uh, mirror, light bar, and, and some electrical work where, that Chad's going to be doing for us later. Okay. And, um, the, the bathroom will be finished. And now the electrical work will be for the bathroom utilities or for the pump itself? It'll be for both. We're going to have a GFI protected outlet for the pump. Okay. And then we're also going to have a GFI protected outlet for the sink area in case somebody right. wants to plug a, a hair dryer in or something. Oh, and sense. then there'll be a switch on, on the far wall with a light bar above the sink. Wonderful. Now, another thing to mention is that, again, John and Eileen, well, John did the work, but he came in here and he did the floors, he did the walls, he's going to be finishing up some of the other things going on. In, in most bathrooms, that's not the way it's done, obviously. Mm -hmm. You uh, come in and rough all the plumbing in the walls first, then somebody comes in, puts the sheetrock in, the floor down, right. and then you come back and set your fixtures after that. That's the ideal situation, but at right. least now people at home know that if you already have something put together and you're worried about now damaging it or wrecking it, mm -hmm. you don't have to. There's, there's no mess here. There's uh, one, two. There's about five penetrations in this wall mm -hmm. for drain and, and piping, and that's it.
Today we're here back again with Ken from Mates Home Services in John and Eileen's basement because we're going to do the inspection process. Right, now we talked uh, with Eddie the day we did the installation about the two rules that every plumber learns right away, right. which is stuff rolls downhill and payday's still on Friday. Now we have to contradict one of those rules. Right, because right. Because it's not going down anymore. Now we're going to so make So now sure we have an up. up-flush toilet. Okay, let's see. I can flush it now and go Absolutely. right ahead. Okay. Oh, and you hear it too. Now another feature of this particular toilet, it's not the toilet, but the seat, oh, okay. is that when you, when us men put it up, when we get finished, we can't slam it. Great. So it's a slow closed toilet. Easy to clean plastic. I had no idea that one day I would become the expert of the toilets. 